Hey YouTube, so I'm here to make a video about a little video tutorial about the oboe. So I'm just gonna get it started real quick. So here's the oboe. Now the oboe looks very similar to the clarinet, but it's completely different. Like I should know I'm a clarinet player. Um but let's just go over basic assembly. So as you can see the oboe's in three pieces now. You want to put it together. You want to grab the bell. Right here, you want to grab the bell. And then you want to grab this, which is the middle joint. Now the middle joint, um, just let me show you that real quick. You know which one's the middle joint because uh, the middle joint is kind of thicker than the top joint, which is this one. And as you can see with the top joint, it has this kind of weird, um, kind of chest-shaped top, which is where the reed goes. So you get the middle joint, and you want to be careful where you grab it. The keys are very delicate on the oboe. So you just want to kind of curl your fingers, lay them over the keys. Um, be careful and grab, just grab the oboe from the bottom, and just roll it in until you're good. You know, if you want, you can align the the branding, but that's not not really necessary it's more for aesthetic reasons and then you grab the top part again you want to be careful with oh that was cap you want to be careful with these side keys especially these two octave keys you know like I said they're very thin very delicate so you want to make sure you don't squish them now we want to be aware of when you're rolling in the top and the middle joint is these two, uh, this should be better. These two little prongs sticking out, and there's a similar thing on the top joint. Those connect so as you're playing, you know, different keys open up. So you want to make sure you're careful when aligning those, and then you just want to make sure they're lined up. And when you're good with that, just roll it in. And you have the main body of the instrument set up. <clears throat> now, after that, now before we get into anything else, the final part of assembly is the reed. Now, what makes oboe so different and crazy is that it's a double reed instrument, and double reed basically means that um, it's made of two reeds. So know if you can see that but basically as you can see there's like a hole and that's basically two reeds tied together by this red string and then put on some cork so basically there's no mouthpiece you just have the reed and then you know you would put it in through here but before that you want to be aware that the oval reed needs to be soaked um it's there are two reeds so you want to make sure that it's dipped in water, so like I hear this little glass, you know, you get anything that's useful, you know, shot glass if you're feeling bougie. Um, just get a little bit of water, you know, dip it in, uh, and you want to let it soak for a while. I've already let it soak um, for a little while before, but you just want to, you want to keep that there for maybe a minute or two. So, you know, while you're setting up the instrument, while you're getting ready for rehearsal, you just leave it there and soak. So, when you're done uh, soaking, the reed is ready to play on. So, for amateur, you want to be you want to be very careful with this. You know, it's very delicate. You know, there's no mouthpiece; it's two small reeds. So, what you want to think of for your amateur is like a whistle. So, kind of think, blow out. It's kind of like a pucker there. So kind of think whistle and just place the tip a little past the fleshy part of your lip so push it in there you're gonna roll your bottom and your top lip and you don't want to put too much pressure here because if you put too much pressure from the top or bottom you're gonna be biting and that's gonna hurt your sound and that's gonna damage the reed so you want to just close up and you want to kind of think 
push in from the side. And uh, that's basically, you know, playing on the re. <sighs> now, what you're gonna have trouble with um, with the read is there's a lot of air, you know, that has to go. There's a lot of focus that has to go through the read. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of air that has to be focused through um, the read, so you're gonna have like a lot of resistance so you're just gonna you need to make sure that you take a nice deep breath so you kind of want to think oh so oh oh nice open shape and you want to think don't do what I did first which is I lifted this up you want to think low so you want to push out from here from your abdomen so oh you want to think you have all this air stored down here because if you if you leave your if you kind of think if you kind of think with a high breath you're kind of tight up here and that's it's very congested um, and very uh, stressful for the upper body so you want to think low so it's nice and nice and um, stored so oh and then you want to push from your diaphragm so part of the assembly just roll in the reed and you're all set with the elbow so you want to be very delicate um make sure that your fingers go on the three holes so two three one two three and then your pinkies will just lay over these keys right here that are on the side. So I think sit nice up, nice straight back. I'll just let me just demonstrate some kind of playing for you. not very good at this um but um one thing you want to think about when you're uh playing the oboe is your articulation now normally what i would tell uh saxophone or, or, or a clarinet players that you want to strike the tip of the reed um because it's, it's vibrating against the mouth uh, the reed is vibrating it's against the mouthpiece but there's no mouthpiece here so you know just two reasons you want to be very delicate So you want to be careful, you want to think very light on that. Now I'm going to demonstrate some playing on the oboe. And first what I'll do is demonstrate an exercise from an exercise book. Next what I'll do is demonstrate a major scale. This is gonna be the F major scale. So last thing I um, wanna talk about is maintenance. Um, uh, you wanna make sure you clean out the oboe after you're playing it or else excess moisture builds up and that creates problems with mold and difficulty with pressing keys so I would recommend don't use anything thick considering the oboe is very thin it could get stuck in there and then 
you have to go through the process of getting that out so i would use something um thin like a feather a decorative feather something that's flexible and thin so it could go inside very easily and clean out the oboe in seconds and if you don't have access to an oboe um feather just use you know a wig you know pop off some strands there and just clean it out uh totally kidding don't ask me why i have a wig um but yeah that's about it for the oboe um, something I would definitely recommend is a YouTuber by the name Krista um, Garvey. She's an uh, incredible oboist. She's a professor. Um, she has a YouTube channel named uh, Krista Garvey. Um, and she's just very knowledgeable. Uh, she's Her videos have helped me through this whole learning process. So I would totally recommend her. Knows a lot more and plays better than me. Um, but that's about it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time.